What's up my fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite strapless bra and also my favorite regular bras. Hold on, let's back it up. Beep, beep. I, I'm not naked. Okay, that's much better. Because in my vlog channel, I did a thumbnail and people were like, dude, you guys look naked in your thumbnail and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we do. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite strapless bra and also two regular bras. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever had the struggle of finding the bra that's gonna lift the girls, keep it in place and not slip and slide. Recently, I have found a strapless bra that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So I'm super excited to share it with you. This is not a sponsor video. This is just a regular girl shopping for some bras for her boobies. That's it. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and you will become a pineapple and a part of the pineapple tribe. Also, don't forget to click that bell so you get notified or else you're not gonna see my face on the tube. I would really appreciate it. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and when this video will go up, Sunday. Ta-da, so Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Now, let's get into the video. I don't know about you guys, but it's always been a struggle to find like the cutest bras, the most comfortable bras, bras that are gonna be supportive to your girls, and just stuff that isn't gonna slip and slide, especially with freaking strapless bras. I used to be the girl that would shop at Victoria's Secret, slam down $65 per bra, $40 to $65. They get really, really pricey. I would even hit up the semi-annual sale and I would buy bras just because they were discounted and they were a print that I honestly didn't even like, but I still got it because of his Victoria's Secret and that's what's gonna keep the girls looking right. Well, I will say I haven't really purchased any Victoria's Secret bras probably like in the last like, year and a half and I am so happy that I have just broadened my horizons and I started getting my bras at Target. I was honestly tired of spending the money and then also washing the bras properly and then them kind of like getting out of whack and losing their shape or the underwire going weird or getting these weird wrinkles. And I'm like, man, I spent so much money for it to get ruined. I'm done, I'm done buying those bras. Let's get some at Target. So I kind of started shopping for some Target bras. I wasn't too happy with my picks until this year and I'm obsessed with the bras that I've been wearing. I've been wearing basically the same three bras. I just make sure to wash them, you know? They're super affordable and cheap. Sorry if I'm looking a little shiny. It is a little hot in my house. I just turned on the air, but yeah, that's sweat, not highlight. I'm just being honest. So you guys know I have been on a healthier journey and I have lost weight, a little weight from my chest, but I feel like I've lost more weight from my back as opposed to my breasts themselves. I mean, I have lost weight definitely from my chest, but I'm in between like a 36D and sometimes I'm a 38D, but more towards a 36 now and sometimes I'm in the middle. So it's been a little bit weird because my 38D does not really fit me too much. I feel like I could have like a 38C and then it would fit. So for the bra sizes, I would say maybe just go in store or if you know your exact size, then you know your size. It's just me right now. I'm in between just because I am losing weight so it's just changing so let's start off with the strapless bra because I feel like that's what oh I'm wearing it I have to take it off <laughs> I feel like that's the one that everybody wants to see this is the strapless bra I am currently wearing and it is a 38d and this one actually fits really well stay put band and I think because it is a tighter fit you want to go up in size like from a 36 to a 38, or I know sometimes people go up from like a cup size. It kind of depends. You guys know how bra sizes kind of get kind of crazy, but this is a 38D strapless bra. My breasts feel super supportive. They are lifted. Very little padding in this. There's not a lot. I don't want any padding. I don't like it when strapless bras, they start going down and drooping my breasts. And this is what the bra looks like. I'm just gonna show you. See, it still like lifts the girls up. There is underwire on here and it's a very comfortable bra. Uh, the straps aren't too thick on the sides. It is a thinner band and it's not like digging into my skin, but it really does hold right here. But it's not making like that weird bulge. You really feel it like it's holding your chest in. Like I really feel it right here, the support. It does feel much tighter right here. I've been getting really personal on this channel. I'm just gonna say that. But hey, I want your girls to look good and feel good and you feel supported. And I will say you you do feel the tightness right here, but you want that because you want the support. When you don't have it, then that's when the boobs start sliding, the bra starts sliding, especially if you have a larger chest. With the weight, a lot of strapless bras, it just goes down. I feel like this bra is great for smaller to medium to larger breasts, especially the main problems are with larger breasts because of the weight. So it brings down the bra. Now I'm gonna have to take it off so I can show you because <laughs> I don't know the exact name of the bra. <sighs> girls are free. You guys, there is nothing like the feeling of when you're home and you get back home from wherever you're at and you just rip off your bra. 
It's better than taking off your false lashes. It is like no other. This is what it looks like in the front and it has this crisscross right here. And I feel like this band, this really holds like the chest in the center right here. Now on the inside of the bra, let me show you, let me tell you the freaking name. So this one's from Maiden Form. This one is a 38D right here. This is what it looks like and this band, see this is where it gets tight and that's what I love. Like it really holds you in and that's why you feel support. Then they have like this little divot. It has like a little bit of padding but it's not a lot because if you look at it, it's like just like this area right here and I feel like this just holds, helps hold the weight of the breast maybe. I don't know but it feels really supportive with this cross band as well. I've been wearing this already for a couple months and I love it. I really wanna get this in a black one. I couldn't find it the last time, they didn't have my size. And in Target it's kind of like a searching game, it's so hard to find certain bras. Now on to two regular bras. Now this bra I've had for quite a while and oh, I washed it without like the little protective shield, you know how you can wash your bras in that thing and I just tossed it in on accident. It got mixed up with my clothes. So it's kind of like peeling. I've had this already for a while, so you guys can see the, the peeling right here. Warners, and this is the Simply Perfect. Uh, this one is a 38D, and this is the one that is getting larger for me. I think because I have had this the longest, but the reason why I like the Warner one is because if you look at the side to this one, Compared to this regular bra, what do you see? This band is much larger than this one, which I'll go over this one as well, but look how large the band is on the side. And why I love that is when I wear the bra, it really gets this side area. When I picked it up, it had like a little slip on it, and it says like extra coverage for side or something. I forgot what it said. Love that because it really smooths out that area, especially when you wear tank tops and you don't want this area kind of bulging out. It is so smoothing and yeah, I definitely need to pick up a smaller size, a 3060 I wanna try, or like, I don't know, my, my boobs are just changing daily. The next bra that I love for every single day and feel super comfortable is this one right here, and this one has a smaller strap. The material is so freaking soft. Jillian and O'Malley, again, and this one is called the Everyday Bra, and it is great for every day. This one is a 38D and fits me perfect. It just depends on the sizing of the brands too. Uh, sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. It all really depends, because sometimes I can also fit in C cups. So if I do like a 38C and then it'll fit. So it just kind of depends. Comfortable for every day. There is underwire, but it's very, very thin. Oh, sorry, for this one you do have underwire, FYI. And then this is what the front looks like, sorry. But for this one, it is so soft, like really soft material. I never feel like weird. You know how sometimes your back just feels like, oh, like a harness, there's so much pressure. This one never makes me feel that way and I love it. It just feels really luxurious and this one really feels like Victoria's Secret bra. And again, super cheap and affordable. So uh, three different brands that I found at Target all for different things. The great strapless bra, this one's great for getting like that side bulge. And then this one is great just for every day. All right guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Uh, I love that I found these three different bras. I thought two of them were the same brand, but I didn't realize I had three different brands for different reasons. But yeah, I hope this helped you out. Hopefully it'll support your girls, whatever size you have. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any suggestions for other bras or strapless bras for smaller chest, medium chest, larger chest, leave them down below. Let's help each other out. We all got the girls and we gotta support them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one on Tuesday. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe